So many coincidences. Sean Diddy Combs. 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 Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left, Puffy and Al. And Al almost Heavy D was found dead, heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia. The first coroner's report that said that she died, it, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. You wanna know what they all had in common though? Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died, and I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. EMS 14, respond with engine 76 on scene of the cardiac arrest. Guys, today I am in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, I am here at the grave, the resting place uh, for Kimberly Porter, P. Diddy's ex, ex-wife, uh, ex-partner, whatever you want to call her. I know that they have three kids together. I know that um, there's been a lot of circulation. There's been a lot of rumors. Could Diddy have had something to do with Miss Porter's uh, death? Uh, what has brought me here today is uh, my own suspicions. It seems like everybody around Diddy dies at some point, right? At some point, everybody dies. Um, it's a sadness. He's definitely somebody I never would... I never would have wanted to be intertwined with had I had the opportunity. I don't think no matter um, your situation, there's no reason to be in business with, with Diddy. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of people's names that I won't be able to remember. But I mean, look, Notorious B.I.G. died. There was rumors back then that he was thinking about signing with somebody else. Uh, there's been some proof of that. I think there's even been acknowledgement from Diddy himself. Um, and, and, you know, there was the whole East Coast, West Coast beef going on. And, and, and B.I.G. died. Other people that were close to Diddy died. Uh, Heavy D, heart attack. But a lot of people have had heart attacks. Now, it's said that Kim Porter, uh, a few months after she died, the coroner said that her cause of death was pneumonia. However, in the beginning, they were saying that they found toxins inside of her and, and it could be somewhat lethal. Now, what's crazy is all these people that are close to Diddy, uh, with the exception of Big, uh, they have died from, from heart attacks. There are toxins out there that can cause a heart attack. We are starting to find out from so many people about the skeletons that are in Diddy's closets, uh, about truth that has somehow managed to stay under uh, under wraps all these years, but stars are coming out, bodyguards, friends, family, uh, the feds are, are, are looking for this guy. He's in a whole world of troubles. I have said since day one from the beginning that I feel like he probably killed that woman. Not, he didn't take his bare hands and do it. But he had somebody do it, he did it. That's what he's famous for, I believe. He's famous for doing things to people through people. He has a lot of money, he has a lot of power. At one point, there was a lot of respect on his name. And I think there's still some people out there that have respect for what he's done. However, you know, if, 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 if you knew how he got there and the amount of people that he hurt to get there and is hurt from being there, you'd probably lose all respect for him. You know, I remember being a kid, seeing this guy on TV. I, I, I liked the way he dressed. I, I, he's dancing in the videos. I, I thought he was cool. As I got older, people would say, Jody, you should do this or that. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, if it has to do with Diddy, no, because he will make you disappear. There's now rumors that, I don't even know if there's rumors. I think they have actual evidence that he's involved in like prostituting a woman or sex trade or somehow some, some situation like that's going on. There's rumors that he had, I think it's Kid Cudi's car blown up. There's just so much. It makes you wonder how this guy's been walking around. He's been free all these years. Columbus, Georgia was not 
too terribly far away from where I was and I have wanted to visit Miss Porter's grave for a while. Uh, for anybody that doesn't, if you're not familiar with me, you know, I started out doing paranormal stuff on this channel, then I started doing scary adventures. I've been wanting to try some different things here. And one thing I like to do is incorporate some of those things with something new. So I am here today to conduct a spiritual communication, you could say, to see if we can connect with Miss Porter and we can get anything there. I'm gonna show you her grave and, um, and then we'll go from there. Kimberly Antoinette Goodwin Porter. Uh, December 15th, 1970, born. November 15th, 2018, died. Once upon a time, there lived a black goddess, queen, mother, best friend, one of the greatest beings God has ever created. We love you and we miss you forever. So, I'll just say this. You know, I have my suspicions, a lot of people do. We might be wrong, guys. Diddy might be innocent. I think it's hard, you know, like sometimes when one thing happens, it, it, it's, it's one thing. But when a bunch of things happen, you know, it's like, you gotta start paying attention and saying, is there something I'm not seeing? Is there some kind of truth here? I will say this, um, he has, put her at a place that is absolutely beautiful um you know her 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 resting place is right here by this gorgeous gorgeous lake miss porter my name is jody and i have traveled pretty far away to be here today uh in hopes to communicate with you now what i'm going to use to try and do that there's no guarantees um I do believe that it does work. If I didn't, I, I wouldn't be using it. But I'll just say that um, there's no way for me to guarantee that or verify that to the people watching this. So I want everybody to take this with a grain of salt. I myself will do that. Uh, however, I do believe it works. Um, and, and, and my proof in that, years, years ago, I was trying to communicate with my grandmother. This was like, God, it's been like, almost 13 years ago now. I spent like three hours trying to communicate with her uh, using a spirit box. I started thinking to myself, man, this thing doesn't work. I was about to give up throwing in the towel. And just a moment later, not much longer after that, that thought hit my head where like I was just like, I'm gonna turn this off, this ain't gonna happen. Um, my grandmother's voice, my grandmother who had been dead for many years, her voice came through the spirit box and she had one of those voices that you just can't emulate. And I think that's what was the most compelling thing because we hear voices come through the spirit box all the time, but having the same tone as somebody you were raised by and, and took care of you, um, to hear that voice, it was a magical moment and it, and it opened up a, a bunch of realization for me that there's a whole world of spirits out here among us and we can communicate with them. It was a life-changing moment, but the words that came through were, Jody, I love you. And it was her voice. From that moment to now, I have used different forms and techniques of devices and things like that to try and establish spiritual communication. That's what I'm gonna do here right now. I'm gonna tell you guys some information real quick. Uh, Sean Diddy Combs uh, home in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security amid a possible connection with an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Uh, authorities targeted the rapper's home to seize phones and computers, uh, sources told the Post. C 
Combs was spotted outside a Miami airport slowly strolling back and forth Monday just hours after the raids according to reports. Brendan Paul, a music producer and basketball player, was arrested on drug charges at a Miami airport while attempting to board Combs' private jet. Paul has been accused of being a drug mule for Combs in a federal lawsuit. At least four Jane Doe's and one John Doe have been interviewed by New York prosecutors in connection to sex trafficking allegations in a RICO case, sources told Rolling Stone. Combs' ex-girlfriend Cassie Cassandra Ventura filed a lawsuit against him in November 2023 on several allegations including rape and physical abuse for over a decade. Combs and Cassie settled the lawsuit one day after she filed it. In November 2023, the rapper was accused of drugging, filming, and sexually assaulting a woman on a date in 1991. The lawsuit describes how Combs drove the alleged victim to a music studio where she could get where she could not get out of the car before taking her to a place he was staying to sexually assault her. A third woman filed a lawsuit against the celebrity in November of 2023, claiming that he and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall took turns sexually assaulting her and a friend in the early 1990s. The woman listed as Jane Doe in the lawsuit claimed that a couple of days after the assault, Combs came to the home where she and her friend were staying and violently attacked her, violently attacked her. In December 2023, Combs was hit with a fourth sexual assault lawsuit that accused him and others of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl at his New York recording studio after drugging her and supplying her with alcohol. Like I said, when it's one thing, it's one thing. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. And, and I feel like there's going to be a lot more... Uh, that continues to roll out now i'll say this five years ago i would have not covered this story uh the reason for that is diddy is one of those people that can just point and make you go missing i could still go missing after this and, and, and i feel like he's the kind of person that has somebody to easily do that hey here's a wire people disappear people have heart attacks he, he i've always felt like he's that guy and that's just a, that's just my own intuition, that's my own sense, my own street smarts, that's my own, re you know, I read people very well, and I've always said he's crooked, and I've always wondered how he's got away with it, and it's funny because my wife and I were just having this conversation like three years ago, and I was telling her like how he's one of those people to be feared. She's like, really? And, and like now all this stuff's coming out, and she's like, holy shit, dude, like you called this. So here I am, at his ex's grave and I got some questions. Okay, so for some people out there, they're gonna say, oh, you're gonna use an app to talk to spirits? Yeah, um, I know the tech people behind these apps and they are very big about documenting real evidence, using real tools to document real evidence. So, um, and as I said in the beginning, there are no guarantees, but I will say the way that a spirit uh, box or spirit communication works is a frequency line is activated and spirits being energy they can communicate by using their energy uh, and pushing towards that line so then words will come out uh, the good thing about this app right here is is they don't have to push too hard all they have to do is use the word bank so there's basically a bank with thousands of words in it and they can put them together to form sentences. So yeah, there's not somebody on the other end of this <laughs> writing out sentences all day long when people ask questions. This is a legit real-time app. There's thousands of people using it right now as we speak. So that would be impossible for, for somebody to keep up with first off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate it and I'm gonna start asking Kimberly some questions. Miss Porter, Kimberly Porter, my name is Jody. Uh, I mean you no harm, no disrespect by being here. 
I am here to hopefully communicate with you. I'd like to ask you some questions and hopefully we can get some answers. You were with Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, and there's so many things that are happening right now in the world. I'm not sure if you're aware of. I don't know if your spirit spends its time here, if you're with your kids, or if you'll even hear my message. But what I'll say is a lot of truth is coming out that he is a very bad person, that he's done some very, very bad things. And I would like to know if you can tell me if that's true. This device in my hand, I was explaining a moment ago. I don't know if you heard me, but it has words. I was conjured. I was conjured. I was conjured. Do you feel like that's what I just did here? I, I, I conjured you to communicate with me? Um, Maybe that's maybe that's how you would feel about it. Um, I, yes, I have summoned you here in hopes to communicate, Miss Porter. Is Sean Combs is is P Diddy a bad man? Was Diddy deride? Deride. Deride. I don't know what that means. Okay. Did Diddy ever hurt you? Port. Oh, guys. Port. Her, her name is Porter. Maybe she was trying to say her name and it said port wow okay that's good so you guys will notice i get excited really excited sometimes when i'm doing these it's because you know it, it's still compelling to me after all these years i mean that's why i do it is it it's very exciting to know that you've possibly communicated with the spirit um i was conjured to ride port we're here trying to communicate with Kimberly Porter. Miss Porter, if your kids were to see this, is there a message that you have for them? Is there something you would like to say? Again, all you have to do is use the word bank. Speak towards this device. I'm documenting this and I'm going to put this out there so people will, they will see this. They will hear your words, your messages. It, dis it disguises itself. It disguises itself. Oh, my buddy Omar just wrote me. <laughs> it disguises itself. Are we talking about Diddy? He disguises himself as a good guy? As a good businessman? A 
wolf in sheep's clothing. Pretty interesting responses just sitting here graveside. I mean, the I was conjured was a little uh, like, mm, I wouldn't have said it like that, but maybe to her that's what, the way it seemed. Maybe she felt my energy from somewhere and, and, and came here. Or maybe it's not her at all. The port, though, that's kind of compelling to me. Like, her last name is Porter, and it says port. I mean, come on. <laughs> that's something. We're not near any kind of boat port or anything like that. They say that you died of pneumonia. Manifesting. Manifesting. that person come from? What the heck are they doing? I just looked over and seen somebody just standing there, bro. It doesn't mean anything, but... Manifesting. I mean... I will tell you this. The energy definitely just changed here. When I say that, guys, like, uh... When, sometimes when you're doing like spirit stuff you can like feel something like trying to happen especially when you've been doing this for a while I've been doing it for a long time now you've got to be careful you've got to be careful that's kind of how I felt about making this video is that a warning to me that again Diddy is somebody you don't want to cross paths with. Taste. Taste. Hmm. Interesting. I like, I like the way that you're, you're set up. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Well, I don't have blue eyes. I have green eyes, but maybe you're telling us somebody, you're telling us something of interest. I was just saying, I, I, I love your tombstone here. I love how they have it all set up for you. Are you happy with this? Cry. Cry. Wow. I've seen names come out before, but is she giving us a list? Or I, I just want to say maybe there's other, this is a cemetery. Maybe there's other spirits here and they are coming up introducing themselves. Like I said, I'll, I'll never try and sell this as, you know, a guarantee. There is no guarantees here. We could be communicating with somebody other than, than Kimberly Porter. But that response got me though, the, the, the port. Miss Porter, I'm gonna try something else. Um, it'll give you an opportunity to show yourself Okay guys, I'm using something now called an SLS. Actually, the app's called Ghost Tube, but it is an SLS. It's a watered down version. Still works the same. Uh, what happens is, is your camera, um, it spits out these lasers. And if there is anything that is human form, even if it's a spirit, as long as it's in human form, it will make it show up as a stick figure.
Miss Porter, if you're here, can you stand in front of your tombstone here, please? Right by the right by the bush there's something. Oh my god. It's like coming in and out. There's something right there. There was something trying to manifest. Whoa. Whoa, it almost looked like it was walking this way. There's something holding back, and I notice a lot of times that that's what spirits do. That almost looked like it put a foot towards the ground. Whoa! <gasps> Look how that one foot is stretching out to like touch the grave. Like it's trying to come closer. Oh my god. <gasps> yo! Yo! Another one! Right there at the bottom! They connected for a second. Wow. That is incredible. Can you lift your arm? Oh, can you lift your arm up, please, and wave at me if you understand what I'm saying? going there's they're both trying to come in that's crazy all right guys so i had a weird mysterious random person dressed very nicely approach me at kimberly's grave and tell me that i was to leave that i was not allowed to be there I, as a paranormal investigator, have been at so many cemeteries in my life, and I have never had somebody approach me. This was not an official person of the cemetery. This was some person that drove by once, turned around, came back, got out, and, and came up to me just to tell me that I was to leave. I asked them who they were. They said, it doesn't matter who I am. You need to leave here or else there's going to be trouble. Obviously, I left. I don't want any trouble, but it just goes to show you no matter what you do, if it has to do with Diddy, there will be some consequences. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was my pleasure to come here and try to communicate with Miss Porter, uh, but hopefully this also sheds some more light on um, you know this case and is there more to it than what meets the eyes i think there is i'd love to know your comments in the comment section below make sure you're subscribing make sure your notifications are on subscribe like this video comment below share it on social media uh, i post every other day live chat live premiere but until next time sweet nightmares Slayer, man, it came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Bitch, I'm a nightmare. Started from a high chair. Got balls of steel working with a nice pair. I ain't scared of demons, maybe, yeah, I got my own. But when it comes to haunted, I'm in buildings all alone. Ghosties give me kiss like my name was Omar. Got a sucky bitch, wish her name was Chris Star. Seen a lot of stuff, Bloody Mary in the mirror. 3 a.m., that's some shit I ain't scared of. I don't give a duck about no scratches on no black cats. I'm the one in the graveyard with the black mask. I'm just killing beats like I was a stealth bomber. Every track I cut, dog, they call me Jeffrey Dahmer. Demon Slayer, man, it came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Demon Slayer, man, it came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. 1-800, you should call the Demon Slayer. Cause you never know
know when the devil is your neighbor no. Bitch, I come through like a ghost Busting Mad Max Call this shit blood magic I ain't talking tan packs I see voodoo I play Charlie Charlie Got my Ouija board About to have a ghost party Sipping absinthe Trying to hallucinate Gotta see the spirits Paranormal serenade I'm the ghost man Every spirit know my name Sister, sister, midnight man Damn, I love my haunted games I'm just thinking What would happen if I quit hunting HD deep for life, bitch, I never quit nothing Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid Demon Slayer, 